Well, I'm Erin. I'm from Canada. I'm studying linguistics at uh, University of Western Ontario. Nice to meet you, Erin. Nice to meet you too. And uh, my name is Tony. I study at Carleton University in Ottawa, Ontario. I'm happy to meet you guys, uh, Colin, and uh, may I have a few interactions with you. Um, um, Tony, uh, why do you have interest in sign language? Um, <laughs> initially, because I am not an oral learner. I wanted to learn a second language um, and was failing miserably at French and Spanish. So, <laughs> so I started learning sign and in the midst of learning it I realized how incredibly beautiful it is and how incredibly important it is and I've just fallen in love with it. So. Oh, you feel it is incredibly important? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, it's, you know, it's the first language, it's the only first language available to the entire deaf community. Right. Um, you know, and, and we have this perception that um, somehow we're, we're less because we can't hear, or if you can't hear, and yet those of us who can hear rarely listen. So, <laughs> doesn't quite jive. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, um, in your perspective, do you think sign language is worth preserving? Uh, definitely. I mean, just the more I've been studying linguistics, the more um, it, I've become aware of like how deeply important uh, one's language is to, to 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 them as as their identity as a person. And so, like, just to say that because you're deaf, you can't have access to that, and that their language is not worth preserving is is so deeply wrong. <laughs> Yeah. Like it's it's just like if I was no longer allowed to speak English. It's a fully yeah, full I can language. Feel that. I can feel it's it. a full language, just like every other endangered language in the world. They are just as important and just as deeply culture laden as any other language. Absolutely. Yeah, and that is why my organization in Nigeria is um, um, dedicated to documents in the Nigerian Sign Language. But in addition to that, we are dedicated to developing the entire deaf culture and deaf community because they are like non-existent. And uh, one of the strategies we are using is um, to train the deaf children in computer education. What do you think about that? I think it's incredible. I mean, you can't, in, in this day and age, like no no group, no urban group can, can function socially and economically with, without computer literacy. And it's such a great way to integrate um, the deaf community, especially children, because they do tend to be so isolated and so marginalized um, in all societies. Um, so to be able to use that as an opportunity to kind of uplift them and, and show them their, their own work. So, yeah. And um, do you subscribe to the work my organization said the Deaf and Endangered Language Initiative is doing? It's amazing work that you guys are looking to do. It's so huge, so huge. I, like, I don't know how on earth you could <laughs> possibly achieve all of it, but the idea that there's people actually trying to do so is so important, so important. Thank you so much. And uh, we believe that the deaf people or the deaf children will do much, much better in computer education when they are developed. You think so, Irene? Yes. Well, I mean, if you have a first language that is very well developed, your cognition, your ability to work things out is just, research has shown it's so much better. So if you're protecting their language, yes, they're going to be, they're going to have, have a much better time of it. I know you've Absolutely. not been to Nigeria before. I haven't. You can imagine the deaf society, the deaf community, totally lost. We only find the deaf people in the schools, those who are in school. Otherwise, you can only see a deaf child why he or she is begging on the street. And people don't go learning sign language because they have deaf person in their family. People don't care. So one of our work is to get the parents and family members to learn sign language. So and crucial. Yeah. Right now so we are getting beneficial. some parents who come to our center to acquire sign language. They are so grateful and they're you know they're relieved. And I mean as a linguist who is also um, dedicated to language documentation, if you had a chance, would you come to Nigeria? Pick me, pick me. <laughs> that sounds so amazing. It just sounds so amazing. Wow, wow. I so much love that. <laughs> I, I can't even imagine anybody saying no to that. Wow. <laughs> I can't, I can't uh, even imagine. That's the passion we are talking about. You know, I, I, I mean, uh, the, the answer will be quite different in Nigeria. 
because I mean it would be I can't imagine anybody doing that. That's <laughs> that's so heartbreaking. Yeah. <laughs> that but, hurts. Uh, I mean I, I'm so glad having you around, Erin. I'm so glad having you, Tony, and uh, I look forward to um, continuing the communication so much. And uh, I want to thank you for you know, you know granting me the opportunity to talk with you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Looking forward to having you in Nigeria with us. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Just renewed my passport. So. Wow. <laughs> <Perfect to go. laughs>